Okay, where to next? Let's get the Vargast. We didn't end up changing out our party members, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Oh, the Vargas are actually over here. Oh, and there's a chubby boy. Look at that chonky baby. I say, but he's very happy to chomp on my ankles. Okay, let's clear out these Vargas. You're a Vargas, right? I'm gonna say yes. Okay, good. He is going for cast. I think now that we've done both Cassandra and Blackwall's quest, we should be able to change our party members. But I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> oh, that's a phoenix? Shit. Balls. Oh, this looks like loot. I thought it was loot. Oh, quill back. Oh, I, I can leave that there. Okay, so... Oh, it's just Jeebus in this whole area. I are all... Ugh. Okay. They are all the way down there. There they are! <gasps> no Fennec! Ah! Did he kill that Fennec? I don't know what's happening. Are you a Vargas? I like how I just like... Oh wait, are you a good guy? You have a green health bar. Oh, ow. Oh, your face kind of looks like a little bat. I don't think I've seen their faces up close because I'm never in melee range. Thank you, Solos, for helping me. Where are my tanks? Oh, they're up there. Is it 420? Oh, it's 320 here. I was like, wait, what? We've already gone through so much time. <laughs> Back me up. Oh, I should look at the faces of the despair demons. Oh, good. This was the boy that we were looking for. Look at all this elf root. Let's... Oh! That was really simple. Fortress squatters. We are in combat, though. Um, how have I taken... Oh, it's because I was tanking. Where is everybody? I don't even know if I can get up this hill. Oh, but they're done. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here before we aggro something else. I'm worried about not having all of the completionist business stuff. Nothing to report, sir. Um Okay, it's just right over there. And then uh, Oh. Mm. Gonna make me take a reasonable path. There we go. I still took damage from that. Come on. Okay. Oh no, we gotta do all the like landmark stuff. And like zones. That's important. Oh, that just appeared. Oh, and so did you. Oh, are you the bandits? <gasps> no, not the Fennec. Lavellan, why are you like this? <laughs> she sees bandits in levels. Or her bow with the poor Fennec. What has he done to deserve it? Goodbye. Are these bandits? I don't think so. Oh, we just like exploded that man. Sand flats. Oh man. Oh! That worked out very nicely. <laughs> Oh, are you the bandits? I'm just gonna let you do your thing because I don't think you're the bandits. I think the bandits are over here where my quest marker is. I like, I 
had no idea that that was gonna that was gonna get our completion shit for us and i was literally just talking about it too wow today is magical i have finally managed to please the gaming gods thank you gaming gods for blessing me it feels nice Okay, bandit time. Feels like Skyrim all over again. Lady, honey. No. Oh, wow. Cass means motherfucking business. She's giving them business, honestly. <laughs> oh, Solus. You were over there. Is that it? Well, let's check the... Let's check the area. Wow, did we really finish it all? We have been so efficient. I I am I I'm surprised. <laughs> Not that I ever try to be inefficient. And of course I would always prefer to be efficient. But we just really lucked out. Can I go up here? Oh, this is the sad area. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your support. We did it. Um, I think the next main storyline thing I need to do is um, Halam Sharal. Let's give it another look-see. Make sure we completed everything. And I think we have. Oh, oh got to go to the journal. So we're in the Western approach. I don't care about that care about collections. So, Astrariums in the approach. Got it. Bottles. No, I'm not going to slay more dragons. Landmarks in the... No landmarks here. Okay. Mosaics. We got the one. Oh, we got two. We should go talk to our dwarf friend about them. Regions in the approach. Taking care of. Shards in the approach. Oh God, we did it. Whoa. Yes. Completion. So. Oh, this one, I want this one. Ooh, we haven't done Here Lies the Abyss either. Ooh. I don't know which to do first. Oh shit, we we should turn the requisition in. You're right, Lemon Cookie. Let's let's port back. Otherwise, we're gonna have that quest for literal years. So we'll turn it in, not pick up a new one, and then port back. Should we do Halam Troll first, or here lies the abyss? Inquisitor. Oh, we gotta go to the table. Not talk to her. I honestly, I've only played the game once before this, and I have absolutely no idea which one I did first. I'm not sure it matters terribly much, from my understanding at least. All right, we did it. We finished the Western Approach. Woo, we did it. Victory. <gasps> You can have Morgan and the Warden at the same time in Skyhold if you do Halam Shiral first? Well, it sounds like we might have to do Halam Shiral first. Because can you imagine? Can you imagine? My Mahariel and Morgan. Oh, my babies. Okay, we definitely need to make our rounds. Oh, <gasps> excuse me, upgrade? Oh, oh. Ah, courtyard upgrade. Of course I'm going to do an infirmary. I care far more about caring for our sick who have already put their lives on the line and supporting our our um defenses, all the people who work for us, not just the military people. And I, I get that a sparring ring is great, but we already do all those things. This. A cosmetic upgrade that declares the Inquisition's promise to be both welcoming and protective for all who seek its support. That sounds like on brand for us. 
We did it. Yes. You guys know when we do Halam Sharal, we'll be playing in cosplay, right? I don't have Morrigan's ball gown, but I mean, you wouldn't be able to see the gown anyways. Oh no. Oh, that poor nurse. <laughs> She, <laughs> magic is definitely preferable to leeches, I would think, on almost any occasion. What's the chance say about this? I never paid attention. Assholes kicked in the maker's door. He made them darkspawn. That's why there's blight, and we have to give wardens our weapons. You still miss that bloody sword. It was a good blade. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if the upgrades actually affect anything, because like everything in Mass Effect like makes a difference, right? I think it's just aesthetic and um, and feel good, honestly. <gasps> Look, he's put the mosaics up behind him. How did I never notice that before? That's good shit. Oh yeah, I feel like everybody would rather be healed through magic. Well, probably not everybody. We've got some like bigoted Templars who I'm sure would take leeches any day and every day over being touched by magic, so. <laughs> Stone Man Inquisitor. All right, yeah, please tell me about this really cool painting. Well, um, what would it be, a sculpture? What would be the proper term for this? Piece of art, work of art. Do you have insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Here you go, Inquisitor. I wrote up some thoughts. Hope it adds to the effort. Oh, thank you. The Mason's Tiles, the Arch Demon. So that's going to be in our codex. It has to be history. It has to be. So I guess. I think it's one of the ones that was grouped together towards the bottom. Yeah, these. Yeah, here we go. The Mason's Tales, the Arch Demon. Perfect. Okay. I gather this one is titled the Arch Demon. Not the three Arch Demons. And I'll get back to that. Good construction here. A nice balanced carving, if you consider Taventers to have equal weight to the dragon's arse. <laughs> what? Not a bad comparison, he asked me. Seven magisters and some easy symmetry to give a host something to sound smart about after dinner. If I had to guess, they'd go on about how four lines and four magisters are part of the dragon and favored. Two lines are piercing it, so they do more damage than good. And one, that big one farthest out, has missed the thing completely. If this was carved around the third blade, that gets you three heads. Doesn't matter. Those are all shallow details. Probably followed by, and it speaks to me because my soul something regret, whatever. Now, the first thing those spits don't understand, I, I feel like that's a derogative racial term, <laughs> is that carving isn't just what you see. They've never made a physical thing and they don't know the how of it. Depth is all tricks of shadow and such. The actual cuts are only as deep as the sculptor wants. And if you take a flat edge to this thing, what she wanted is strange. Because I'm thinking is that this is one archdemon, and the three heads are the reaction to the three lines. Because piercing line one is on the same tier as the Deventer second from left, and the middle head turned away. Piercing line two is the same tier as Deventer fifth from left. And the first head turned away. And the line that misses, that's the same tier as the big Tevinter, farthest out. And the dragon is looking straight at him. So the ones who did damage, the dragon doesn't care. The one who faked it, the dragon gives him an eyeful. Now add to that, artists like to hit big targets. But this carving has no faces. If she wanted to carve specific people, they'd be there. She has that skill. So what if she's not after the Magisters? She's carved Tevinter itself. You've got four ages of the Empire where they're part of the dragon, two where they damage it, and one where they miss the point entirely and it gets them eaten. Think about it too much, and I bet you could come up with five different ways to match their calendar, including your favorite aunt's birthday. So there you go. That's how to go from balance to not invited next time. At my house, anyway. <laughs> that was a ride. So Gatsy wrote this. He, we're going to turn the other one in, and he'll give us more notes. Stone Mad Inquisitor. 
Do you have insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what. You finish one, and I'll write it up. Oh. You better write a good dwarven perspective. So we have the other one in our inventory. Another time. And when we That's turned it in, Inquisitor. he must have given it to us, and I just didn't read it. Good night, Robin. I hope you have good sleeps. All right. So we did that. We really do need to make our rounds. Looking for someone to talk your ear off? I think I can oblige. I'm happy. Oh, what have we? Hmm. No, no need to apologize, Lemon Cookie. Not at all. It, honestly, if I didn't just do it, I wouldn't have had the answer to that question. Oh, <gasps> wait. Laura Bailey is Dagna? What? How did I not know that? Yeah, I was trying to do a dwarven impression when we were reading that. I can't pitch my voice as low as uh, Gatsy's. So I, j I try little things like that. I, I know I'm not a voice actress, but I try for you guys. <gasps> She's Bianca and Dagna. Gatsy's voice is Fenris? Wait, 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 wait. Love you, Varric. Hold on. Stone Mat Inquisitor. Oh my god. Another time. Best of the vein, Inquisitor. Oh my god! <laughs> well, you know now we gotta talk to Dagna. Because I love Bailey and everything she touches. Yo, we have to do the judgment for the guy. Okay, so let's go talk to Dagna, get everything out of the way. And then we'll go do judgment for service. The true end to our Western approach arc. It's like a fucking <laughs> anime. <laughs> Gideon Emery is great. Hello, Dagna. Ready for anything, Inquisitor. Ah! I hear it. I love her. Dagna, show me what you can do. Here's how it goes. Bring me the rare stuff for enchanting or masterworks and prep it here just like normal. Except it's not normal. It's manipulation of primal forces. And I'll make sure it goes just right. You'll see. They'll all see. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that Krem is uh, Jennifer Hale. I knew that one first, because um, everyone in Bioware, like, pretty much loves Mass Effect and Dragon Age. Lovely. You're lovely people. Okay, let's go levy some judgment. Sorry, I know that was a, a little bit of a sidetrack, but, but, it was so good. Judgment time. Before you is service of the Minrathus Circle of Magi. You met him and his venatory in the Western approach. He admits to working for Corypheus, raising monsters, and using magic for conquest. He also used his connections to smuggle magical artifacts out of the approach, without his master's consent. This man looks like a younger version of Alexius, right? Yeah, Krem is Shepherd. And oh, Jennifer Hill does such a phenomenal job. She just um, did voice acting for the new Ratchet and Crank that just released. She just published about it the other day. And she's already involved in another project. I love her so much. She's so talented. I just adore her. <gasps> what, Liara's voice actress is Scout Harding? Oh my God, the double dipping. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it so much. Whether or not he's loyal to Corypheus has no bearing on his crimes. I was hired by a third party. I've no loyalty to him. Might you find that useful, your worship? I'm sorry, are you attempting to bargain? <laughs> bargain? I plead. I throw myself on your mercy. I also have friends in Tavinta who owe me large debts. Leave what happened in the approach behind us, Inquisitor and I can put them all at your disposal. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. 
so our friendship with Leliana is is going to reap us some benefits. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm not sure I ever did this in my first playthrough. Yeah, Josie is like, excuse me? This man, the audacity. <laughs> I mean, but I, I, I can't like fault him. Wouldn't you do the same thing in his position? Anything to keep from dying, right? I see the logic in that. Um, giving him back to Corypheus kind of spits in Corypheus's face, but it doesn't gain us anything. Having him as a smuggler might gain us something. But so does being an informant. So I'm stuck between those two. Because we are in a position to make the individuals who have wronged others repay those debts. And reparations is honestly, in my opinion, one of the best ways to, to, to right your wrongs. So, smuggler or informant? So, thinking about this from a gaming mechanic perspective, I'm assuming a smuggler is just going to bring us items. That's what smuggling is, typically. I kind of... I'm also tempted, though, because I love using the cool abilities that we've been able to either earn or or buy as we go through the game. Informant seems the most useful to me, though. I feel like that's going to ruffle some feathers. But I think having a heads up on a tor uh, on a Tory, venatory movement and plans and potentially Corypheus is going to be the most beneficial for the most people. It's going to do us the most good. Smuggling, like, that's cool. I'm really glad that Liliana would lend us that, um, I don't know, credence. But I think this is going to help the most people out. Liliana will assign agents to you. I expect them to inform me that you've been forthright. If you want redemption, you'll have to earn it. I can more than pay my keep, Inquisitor. Thank you. Now, don't be mean to other people! Oh, lemon cookie, honey, it's your game. You play it the way you want to. Nobody has any right to tell you how to play your game. It is for you and your enjoyment. I honestly, um... I have done that definitely in the past with the Dragon Age games. Um... I, I usually will go to a previous save if I feel like I've really upset, like, Solus, for instance unintentionally, but we tend to think very similarly on things, so I haven't really had that happen. Okay, I am going to save. I'm just going to save over my games now. Oh, e. Ooh. I'm nervous because we only have one save. I'm going to I'm going to make another save. Because what if something happens? What if something goes wrong? <laughs> yeah, Viv always hates me too because I'm pro mage. Aaron, that's a great idea. You can headcanon that you confer with your companions before starting the judgment. That is brilliant. That's great. That is a great way to do that. I love coming up with roleplay reasons to justify actions taken in or outside of game. I love that so much. Okay, so we did our judgment. We went and talked to Dagna and we turned in and talked to Gatsy about mosaics. Oh, uh, you, oh, somehow, somehow I managed not to kill Clan Lavellum on my first playthrough. I didn't even know that you could. I just happened to pick the right shit. Now I have it written down just in case. I, I know it's so easy. Like the fact that I like somehow managed not to kill them is just a miracle. Like it, it just is. <laughs> Yes, I love this game so much. Calopsia. It's such a phenomenal masterpiece of a game. See, I have in my, in my Gudetama pen cup. Where is it? Is it right here? I know you can't see it, and me putting it up to the camera is not going to make it focus. But it says Clan Lavellin, <laughs> and it's got the quest broken down so hey, I don't what? fuck it up on accident. 
Yeah, yeah. It happens sometimes. And it's like, ugh, some of them are unavoidable. All right, so these are the ones we get. To... Yes, perfect, a patrol for the crew. The Sutherland lad and his small crew reported in. Only minor trouble as expected. Nevertheless, they have increased our presence. They seem useful freelancers. I love like his little like adventuring party, his little baby D&D &D group, it's so precious. All right, missing seekers. For a time, finding the missing seekers seemed to be impossible. Early indications point into these men and women heading, one at a time, into Ferelton. But here their trail went cold. A chance rumor regarding Ban Loren, a Ferelden nobleman who had not been heard from for months, led Inquisition agents to investigate Care Oswin, and they too went silent. These events are connected, and it seems this is where the missing seekers will be found. Dum dum dum! Yes, Sutherland is so precious. <gasps> what? Oh no! I didn't know you could glitch those quests. I hate when stuff like that happens because it's so jarring. Okay, so we do have available Wicked Eyes, Wicked Hearts, and here lies the Abyss, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay. So, I think we decided Halam Sharal. So, you know that that means we're gonna have cosplay stream next time. Just make sure to finish it before the Mythal Well. Um, where, that's not connected. Yeah, that's not connected to Halam Sharal. Wicked eyes, wicked hearts. If I remember that's still longer. Yeah, okay, okay, good. Then we'll put that, actually, let me make a note just to be safe. While we go over and pick some quests to do in Ferelden. We need to do... Um... Seeker's quest. Thanks, Brain, I appreciate it. Okay. I wrote it down on my Clan Lavellum paper. Okay. So, did we finish all these? No, these are available. So, it's probably because I wanted different people on them. Oh no! God Warden! That's so frustrating. I hate when that stuff happens. And you're like, game please! I didn't save! <laughs> oh, okay. Celebrate the dragon slaying. Oh. Okay. Word has spread about the dragon the Inquisitor killed. Oh, Haran! I just like, I glance down and it's Haran. Okay, we'll read it in order like adults. <laughs> A note passed on by Josephine. Tell me you sent soldiers to collect the grisly remains. We have nobles clamoring to see the head up close. I should have anticipated this. Gawking is for peasants, but it becomes civilized when done with a glass of wine in one hand and a fan in the other. Another from Haran. My associate Wade is known throughout Thedas for his talent at capturing the glory of the draconic in the armor that he makes. The scarcity of dragon scale means that Wade is all too rarely afforded the chance to work in his chosen medium. But here is a solution. Wade shares his expertise with the Inquisition in exchange for the dragon materials collected so far. You know we have to do Wade and Arendt. Of course. Like, uh, how could we not? All right. To work? Let's do it. I care way more about homages to the previous games than ugh, pleasing some nobles. Yeah, the world state and the trapezy always like, tapestry? <laughs> Always makes me a little paranoid too. I'm always worried it's gonna like change something I've selected. Oh, it's this one. Oh, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. So I'm worried about this because I feel like Air is gonna be upset with us. If we don't. But. Uh, I know Liliana's like, yeah, let's do it. It's romantic, romantic stabbing. But. Uh, 
But I'm not sure it's the Inquisitor's place to get involved. And I think that is where I'm going to have to draw the line. If Air wants to get upset with us, she can. Because we're trying to be as diplomatic and impartial as is reasonable, right? Not necessarily all the time. But in this instance, like, why does this concern us? I mean, Air picked it up. If Air wants to take the quest, go for it. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with Josie. Yeah, it's not for us to say that she shouldn't. We're not going to interfere, but we're also not going to infectuate what she's desiring. Let us begin. All right. So now we have Liliana, which is perfectly fine by me because she's how I usually like to handle things. Are there any more that I haven't finished? Oh, several. I'm trying not to do the one that the new ones yet because I have so many that I'm waiting on. Okay, let's, what is observing the deadlock? Ah, uh, I think this is the one we wanted too. Okay, so let me refresh my memory. It was to be expected in the wake of so many important deaths and the rise of the Inquisition, several noble houses are attempting to spare their fortunes by crafting an alliance of their own. For now, they seem mired in arguments of seniority. It will be a long time before any of them threaten our standing. I don't I don't just don't really care about them at all. I don't uh, acknowledging them just means that we we give them power, right? We acknowledge them as some sort of entity to be dealt with. I think Liliana's right. Let them squabble. Don't give them the satisfaction of even being recognized. Inquisitor Bam. All right. <laughs> Liliana just handles things better in my opinion. Yeah, man, it is. Yes. Like the nugget. I'm so disappointed because he was in here earlier. I don't think I have. Yeah, I don't have any cats. Like I have cats until he starts streaming. You guys saw the picture. Nugget was just sitting in my lap being a good boy. All right, so let's go talk to our companions before we decide on any sort of action. Oh, sweet baby. All right. I'm not sure we left off with most people, so I do think it is wise to chat with everyone. <gasps> Inquisitor, I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montelier's fortunes. My family made their fortune as traders in Antiva until a scandal exiled us from Orlais some ages ago. It devastated our finances. The Montelier's have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. Oh my goodness! I had no idea your family's situation was so precarious. Hardly anyone outside the family does. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... It is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. I feel like telling her, but you're not actually poor, is insensitive. Um, because the way that debt works is <laughs> you can still have things, but you still owe things and you can still have like negative assets, right? I, I'm not really good at economics or financing or any of that bullshit, but from my understanding, that's how that works. Yes, and Josie is very pretty and her voice actress is so talented, so talented. Absolutely, I would love to help you, friend. Is there anything I can do? I'd almost solved our problems. For a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montiliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale, <sighs> I've just learned my carriers were murdered. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. 
Oh my god. I mean, I remember this, but like it it hits different now. I'm more invested in the characters and the story. They're familiar. They're friends, you know? Do you have any idea who murdered them? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Count Boiver, a nobleman in Val Royaux, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request. That you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. Also, Josie has the most delicate, beautiful freckles. What will being seen with me gain the Count? The Count will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Count will subtly spin reports to his advantage. He will use us. But if he knows who killed my people, I ask that we indulge him. Yeah, absolutely. If it helps, I'm happy to be of assistance. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means... You are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. I do. They spend so much time on the features of all of the companions. And I mean, honestly, like most people's inquisitors. I know you can make your inquisitors look pretty bonk, but they do such a good job. It's good to see you. Mm, I don't think we have anything more, do we? What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. <laughs> Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Sir Griffith of Denerim, a most distinguished knight of the realm. He's defeated dark spawns, slain demons, chased down abominations. Just don't ask him about <laughs> it over dinner. He spares no detail. I love that she inserts these little details about the people who are visiting us. And you know, like a little TLDR about them, what you should look out for. It's so great. She's great. Um, let's do Solus before we go up. Because I'm biased. Oh, but we got Varric. He's on the way. Looking for someone to talk your ear off? I think I can oblige. I read your tale of the champion, <laughs> and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Oh! Carry on. Ow. That was a... <laughs> we must stop the wardens from carrying out this insane plan, Inquisitor. To seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the blight. Hold on, sweetheart. Why are we so up in arms about it? I got you. Like, don't worry. But why? Why are you so upset? They won't succeed. We're going to stop them together. Thank you. I've been on my own for so long. It's difficult to get used to having the support of others. Those fools and duty. Responsibility is not expertise. Action is not inherently superior to inaction. Forgive me. The entire idea is unnerving. But why? Okay, so I know we're just gonna have a spoiler central here. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I know that there are some theories running around that the Evanuris are the old gods. And that he's so upset because, like, just because he put them away doesn't mean he necessarily wants us to kill them. So, I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know why Solus is so up in arms about this. Oh, look at that leaf. Just... Okay, bye. <laughs> he does really hate the blight. Goodness. Good afternoon. Oh, honey, you're all upset now. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Mm. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. 
I found an ancient dwarven tide no longer sheltered by the stone. An earthquake had exposed it all to daylight. A thousand dwarven corpses lay, the victims of a dark spawn horde. Their last stand marked by one great ring of armor. In the middle, one small body, clutching tightly to a small stuffed toy. There's something about the way that Solus speaks, and this is one of the instances of his his exposition being written to the tune of Hallelujah. If you notice throughout the series, Patrick Weeks writes what Solus is saying in that very specific cadence. And it just, it gives him that sing-song quality to his words. And it is at once poetic and lyrical and just enthralling. I mean, it can't just be me, right? I just, ugh. The fact that he specifically tells this tale makes it more impactful because of the quality and intonation of his voice. <sighs> Tell me about a spirit you encountered. The Alamari crossed the Frostback Mountains to escape a beast they called the Shadow Goddess in their story. I met the spirit that they fled. She walks the fade along the southern tundra, weeping lonely and forgotten, great for Elden formed because a lonely spirit drove her prey away. Oh my goodness. It's not an allusion to Flemeth, is it? I mean, it might be. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a dwarf emerge into the light of day and shield his eyes against the sun. The first time he had seen it, the tears were streaming from his eyes. I thought them from the blazing light until I saw the rock he held so tightly. Then he laid the rock down gently. And he left it as he walked away. Oh, why? I've played too much Mass Effect. I have had too many feels. It's so beautiful. We'll talk later. Goodbye. I love this man so much. I hadn't before I played this game been really taken by a singular fictional character. Am I in your way, sweetheart? You're fine. Um, cause you always read books and have favorite characters, but there wasn't one that I became quite so attached to. And I'd never romanced anyone in a game before either, so there's also that. Oh, he just means a lot to me. I love him very much. All right, we have a few more rounds to make. Hello, dear. I heard a little rumor about you. Oh? Is that so? Indeed. Someone's been doing some training. As an assassin, no less. <laughs> I'm not an actual assassin. I'm not taking coin to kill people, if that's what you're suggesting. I don't see why not. Is that worse than coin from looting the people you kill? Those are enemies. You have a lot of enemies. No need to split hairs. At any rate, if you ever intend to make it an actual profession, do tell me. The Antivan Crows have nothing on the Imperium. I know people. Keep it in mind. What? What? <laughs> I'm not sure I ever... Oh, have we not told him this? Oh, I guess we haven't done this. Okay, we do need to sit back and think about this one. I previously told him about the letter because I thought it was really duplicitous for his parents to intentionally go behind his back to try to deceive him into meeting with them. If he doesn't want to meet with them, he doesn't want to meet with them. Period. 
That is his choice to make. He's an adult. And they've been terrible to him. I would never force him. Especially not via deception. So, I'm pretty sure I'm still going to give him the letter. Um, I, I'm tempted to try a different approach because this is what I did the first time. But at least from my perspective, morally speaking, I don't see any other path. It's... If... I had somebody deceive me into meeting with my parents, I would be furious. It is incredibly disrespectful to do that, especially when you're aware of the uh, poor dynamic that's in play. And so I, I, I just I, I know that this is a repetitive decision and that's. I could explore other options, but I really just, <laughs> I really just can't do that to him. I can't do that to him at all. So he gets his letter and he's going to get the letter every time I play this. Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son. What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tevinter. I mean, I'm kind of... As someone who has a really bad relationship with their family who... I mean, my parents, um, yeah, my parents would have also tried to send me to conversion therapy had they known, but like, this resonates a lot with me. So I'm, I'm an extra feisty about it, extra feisty about it. That would be hard to do while I stood there. He expects me to travel with Mother Giselle, although Maker knows why he'd think I would. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. Yes. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. <laughs> so... I'm going to hope we can ask this insightfully and considerately instead of being like and trying to get him to talk about stuff he doesn't want to. Also, thank you, Lemon Cookie. You're very sweet. Yeah, and I agree, um, Noodle. There's just there's no reason to justify lying to him. Like, Lady Giselle has a, a touch of ignorance. She she doesn't know that the relationship between Doran and his family is so toxic. And so she just thinks that he's just some brat who ran away from his parents and is doing naughty things. Whereas we know a lot better because we've talked to Dorian. We've taken time to understand his point of view in the matter. So I'm going to do this one just so we can get all of that fleshed out. There seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices, nor I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married? Because you left? That too. Yeah. Ah, oh, I feel this man's anger. <sighs> All right, let's get it taken care of. Let's go meet this retainer, then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. Oh, man. So now we just have to take him to Redcliffe at some point. Yeah, and I'm glad that Gis Gis Giselle 
has kind of a come to Andraste moment about it later, <laughs> but <sighs> I try not to be too upset with her because she doesn't know. It's just a very, <sighs> I wish she would have talked to Dorian. Oh, she talks to us because she's afraid to talk to Dorian, <laughs> which kind of smacks of a little bit of prejudice, but that's just the tea. It doesn't surprise me you found the Wardens mixed up in all this. Oh, really? From first-hand experience, you should be wary any time my old order is involved. Really, Fiona? That surprises me quite a bit. We've asked her these things. Uh, uh, uh. Wow, she really just threw the Grey Wardens under the rug. Why? Why is there such... Oh, considering what happened in the novels. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that would cause her to speak so negatively. Maybe I need to read. Which one is that one? The Last Calling, I believe? I haven't, I haven't read that one. I've read Asunder and um, Masked Empire. Oh, it's The Calling, not The Last Calling. Oh, and yeah, I really want Fiona to meet Alistair too. I, I need it so bad. I need it so bad. I trust everything as well with the mages. Most are pleased with the Alliance. Even if we wonder what the last will happen flight, next. that's what it is. I was getting them mixed up. I'll leave you to it. Okay, so let's turn some stuff in. We have much. I don't think she has anything for us. Man, I I'm still working through a cord of silver flames. Um, it's spicy! Like, I know everyone said it was spicy, but it's spicy. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just surprised. I just want pet nugs. They're very cute. Why can we keep reading this if you've read them? Because that one's about the crows. Excuse me. Excuse me. Little shrine. Leliana, my dear. Silveric knew where the champion was all along. <laughs> That's the last time we sent Cassandra to interrogate. Oh, 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 but like that, uh, that, uh, subtle threat in there, though, of what she would have done to Varric? Oh, buddy, that would not have been quite as, uh, mm, mm, painless if it had been Liliana. Oh, my goodness. But she's giggling about it all the same. <laughs> Anything I should know? Our agent stationed near Adamant reports strange sounds. Curious lights around the fortress. At least two scouts have gone missing. We must make our move and quickly. Okay, so here lies the abyss. I got it. Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. Cool. I'll leave you to your work. Oh, you don't ship Nestin Cassian? Who do you ship Nestin and or Cassian with then? Out of curiosity, I'm not condemning it by any means. I know there's a lot of contention over who to ship Elaine with, because there are some people very strongly in the Lucian camp, and there are some people very strongly in the Azrael camp. Oh wait, what's up here? A whole lot of nothing, just a bucket. Excuse me. All right. We are talking about A Court of Silver Flames. It is the newest installment in the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. Yeah, the maker does seem from most intents and purposes to not want much to do with Thetis. <laughs> Yeah, the antagonistic pairing, the, like, enemies to lovers is definitely, like, an interesting cup of tea, and it is de definitely not for everybody. Inquisitor. Hmm. 
my good man. Oh, look at you. You're meek and a griffin. It's very cute. We need to head to Adamant Fortress as soon as possible. Okay. If there's a chance we can stop Corypheus from destroying the Wardens. We can't let it slip away. <gasps> Special? What do you think we'll uncover in Adamant? Nothing good. Hearing the Warden's plan was bad enough. Now we'll see it firsthand. Best case, we find a nightmare. Worst, we'll find a nightmare, then die painfully. I still can't believe what they're doing. I thought I understood the order. Varric's friend Hawk said there were suspicions of corruption in Grey Warden ranks. Do you know anything about that? Corruption? What sort of corruption? Corypheus. He's been known to influence the minds of Wardens. That could very well explain why so many have disappeared. Yeah... If this is true, then all Wardens are in danger. Even you. We'd better find your brothers. And sisters. I agree. If Hawk's given you an idea where to start, we should get moving immediately. Okay, we... probably have done those Nothing already. Right now. Perhaps in a bit. <sighs> oh my goodness. Yeah, the Throne of Glass is Sarah J. Moss's first series, and she kind of bebops back and forth between them. So she's got the Throne of Glass series, and she's got a Court of Thorns and, a Court of Thorns and Roses, which is, in my personal opinion, better written because she's older and has more experience. She includes um, people of color, people of varying gender identity and sexual orientation, uh, which was very much lacking from the game, uh, Game of Thrones, uh, Throne of Glass segment, as far as I have read. And then the third series that she's done is um, Crescent City, which is by far my favorite of all of them. So good. It's so good. There is definitely some Elaine Asriel angst that is, is delicious. The both quiet ones. I, don't, I really like Lucian as a character a lot. Like, I would probably date Lucian, but I it's hard because I'm like, if I was a character in the series, I would 100% be more. So, um, I love, I love so much that they have worked on getting representation to that series. And SJ Mass is great because people were calling her out on representation and the lack of it. And she did change the novels moving forward. <laughs> oh no, Lady Leopard, that's such a long call. I'm so sorry, friend. I, I feel those feels. I have been working to get my prescription filled, you know, that I've been, you know, Inquisitor. taking for the last four years. Since January. I don't have it yet. It was approved weeks ago. But it takes them 7 to 12 business days just to change it from denied to approved in their system. I feel your pain, and I'm very sorry that our fucking system is so terrible. I have to hear hiding because, because Liara. Hey. What's been going on? Just relaxing. Taking a breath. You need to sometimes to keep sane. Love. Take care. It's so frustrating, and I'm so sorry that you have to go through that. Ugh. I understand the Inquisition has tracked down the missing seekers. Yes. Care Oswin. I didn't see Ban Loren as the sort of nobleman that would become involved in this war. The sooner we go there, the sooner I can put this search behind me. Okay. Do you have any advice for me? You know what you need to do, Inquisitor. Yes, ma'am. That's enough for now. Another time, then. <laughs> she just looked down her nose at us and told us what was what. <laughs> That's the only response you can give her is yes, ma'am. Surgeon? Hmm. Somewhat off color today, Inquisitor. An excess of bile, perhaps. Might I bleed you or offer a herbal tonic? <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> and this should be, yes, Sir Morris. Is this your little hospital now? It is. I think it's super important that she comes by and says hello to everyone. So she personally speaks 
to each of the dudes that are chilling here. Because it's important to let these people know that you care about them. Oh. Um, they were slamming her for lack of representation. Like, everybody was white and heterosexual. And, like, it took me a long time to even get used to the term male and female as descriptors because they're fae or not humans. And so woman and man describe male humans and female humans, whereas female is going to describe the type of another species. And I was just like, whew, there's a lot to, to like, relearn in my brain. Hey, Krem. Your worship. I wanted to talk about you, if that's all right. You know, I'm from Tevinta. Wasn't a slave, but even citizens have it rough if they're not majors. I was a soldier, but women joined the ranks under a different program. When they found out I was passing, it got ugly. I ran, met ball near the border, and ended up here. Not a life I'd wish on everyone, but it'll do. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, hmm. I can't determine if that's insensitive or not. If you're having a genuine conversation with someone that you care about and you're like actively trying to understand, I think that that's fine, but I don't want to come off as rude at all. Also, God, the music, it's so good. Hmm. Hmm. I remember that Inquisition got shit on a little bit because of their handling of this, because a lot of the things that you can ask are fairly negative. Yeah, it's just like, mm, it's just, it's not necessary. I know that they're trying to help people understand the issue, and that's my assumption of why it's presented as an option. But it like, it, 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 it feels so unnecessary. That's not your business, first of all. And second of all, why does it matter? We'll so, talk later. yeah. I just... I'm trying to give a lot of understanding to why they did things the way that they did. <laughs> but... Oh? Ah, come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, your worship. <laughs> Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. With red? Oh, Liliana! Do you want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, wow, so the Ben Hasrath letter. <gasps> what did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. I mean, who would? And they really don't like Red Lyrium. Understandable. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Canari and the Inquisition joining forces. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, to, to jump back over to chat. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think that that's a good way to do that is to, to talk to the communities about the way in which they're approaching these issues. So when I say communities is like if you're trying to accurately represent a bi person, for example, you run that shit by a bi person, be like, this is accurately reflect in the best way that we can. And you you have them act as a kind of consultant. Um, I don't know if that was done here. And I know that they got a little, uh, a little flack for it, right? Uh, it's hard because I want to appreciate that they're trying to be inclusive, but we definitely still want to call them out on the ways in which they missed the mark. So you, you do both. Ugh, but yeah, they really should have. They really should have pulled in an expert or consultant 
on the matter. That would have been the best way to do that. Absolutely. So, like, with ableism, like, fucking atrocious. If you want to portray a deaf person, if you want to portray somebody who has a debilitating disease that confines them to a wheelchair, you, you get people who live that life to make things, to make a portrayal of a similar situation as accurate and kind and understanding as possible. Because unfortunately, a lot of the times this kind of gets pejorative. I don't think Bioware meant it that way, which is the worst part. Uh, it's hard. Yep. Diversify your writing staff. Diversify all, like, <laughs> all types of employment. Just do it. Just do it. Hire people of color. Hire women. Hire non-binary people. Get people from different walks of life, different socioeconomic backgrounds. Do it. <gasps> Hi, let me cookie. No, nothing's bad. We're just talking about how important it is when you have um, somebody like Krem featured in the game. It would have been wisest to have a trans individual consulting with the writers as they were writing, and that way the portrayal could have been as accurate and um, ugh, not quite so... I'm trying to think of a word that, that is going to accurately convey what I want to say. Their attempt was uh, from a good place, but executed poorly. Oof. Okay, now we gotta figure out what we're doing here. Sorry for the TED Talk, guys. It's an important TED Talk to have, but... I'm not sure about Andromeda because I haven't played it, but it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah. It's hard because I, I see them wanting to try to do good, but it's just done in such a bad way. Ugh! Don't do that! That's not how you... That's not how you address that. It's not. But, yeah. That's the TLDR. Okay, okay. Canari and the Inquisition joining forces. Um... I kind of don't trust the Kuhn. And I'm going to have to look at this from a Dalish perspective. Because I think that everything that Lavellan would have heard about the Kuhn is fairly negative. Like, clearly our interactions with Bull have been good. But... Or, or do we want to look at this in the way that, well, we are facing a world-ending <laughs> catastrophe. Oh no. <laughs> Dark Phoenix. <laughs> Just giving him the finger guns. That's good. They can't see your comments, so you're good. Honestly, the comment section of my Dragon Age videos is 175% more uh positive and uplifting and amazing than mass effect it's the fps dude bros that are the problem suffer trolls <laughs> all right um so she's wanting to be as diplomatic as possible we want to capitalize on all of the resources that are given to us so I think for the sake of the world at large, we should, we should try to work together. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. They found a massive red lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. <sighs> They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. Yeah, well, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. 
I thought the Kunari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kune answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's try to help as many people as we can. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. All right. That was a really successful session, y'all. Thank you for hanging out and for chatting and making this entire streaming experience as much fun as it is. Thanks for sitting through the TED Talks and thank you guys. I've never had a moment on Twitch where I'm like, Ugh. oh, excuse me, except for the weird. What was the one guy, the like right wing shill that came in that we really quickly dealt with? Um, other than that, you guys have been so supportive of people in all walks of life when it comes to POC, different gender identities, sexual orientations. And I really want to thank y'all for that. Oh, no. <laughs> Lemon cookie. <laughs> it's so wonderful that we have cultivated a community of people who are understanding and caring and supportive of each other. I love that I have a space to be myself and where y'all can feel welcome and safe too. Oh no, I, I don't remember anymore, Noodle. I remember the name and the fact that something he said was offensive, but that was just troll shit. So genuinely, we haven't had anyone in bad faith other than trolls, which is nice. Um, very nice. Probably because they can't get away with it like they can on YouTube, but it is what it is, and we adjust accordingly! No, 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 Noodle Cat. Um, we had one right-wing shill come in and try to preach some of his propaganda, but he failed to understand that I'm an attorney and very quickly called that out, turned it on its head, and gave him a swift kick to the bottom. So, we don't stand for that shit here. No bigots. The one way that we protect minorities and marginalized communities is to be intolerant of intolerance. If that makes sense. <laughs> I hope it does. I hope I'm getting across what I want to say. We're gonna finish up talking to our companions, which shouldn't take too long. And we will go ahead and start Halam Sharal, okay? Does that sound good? If anybody needs, excuse me, needs me to hold off on that, like if there's something I need to finish in a better order, let me know via the Discord. Otherwise, I'm gonna be dressed up as Morgan next time because she's Bay. All right, guys. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, whatever time it is, wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Want more? You can check out these videos or my stream on Twitch or cosplay on Instagram or on OnlyFans. All the links are in the description. So much content, so little time.